Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the first episode of Games with a View. Today we're looking at Infamous Second Son and checking out the wonderful vistas that are available in it. And a little bit of the history too. Released five months after the launch of the PS4, Second Son is the third full game in the Infamous series by Sucker Punch. With about four years of development time, Sucker Punch wanted a fresh new start in their modern superpower series and setting it in and around their home of Seattle, taking special care and attention when working on its accuracy, from the sounds of native birds and nature to the city atmos that you find in the majority of the game. This love letter to the locale provides more, many beautiful sights, front-loaded as it were even in this opening sequence, uh, a natural unspoiled space. Although this obviously doesn't last too long as we approach a large factory with um, the encroaching industrialization of the city reached out into nature which uh, has sat upon it a graffiti drawing rebel. Now that's not exactly a subtle analogy but it's kind of good for explaining the temperament of our mildly surly lead character Delson. Hey, if art is a crime then just... Oh, damn it. Okay, think Delson, think. The opening tutorial section, by its very nature being a, a linear escape, it leads you to find some beautiful vistas just by turning around corners. Just something that's lost slightly in the open world of the main city. But the, this gameplay, although it doesn't give you that kind of natural space, if you take a moment to just relax and listen, there's a wet beauty in the quiet Seattle afternoon. Many Seattle icon locations appear inside the game, from, say, Lincoln's tow truck to the Space Needle itself. The city is alive with its locations, although it has been complained about the citizens themselves not truly feeling alive and just going about their own day. Now, this city itself is more involved with keeping itself looking right with the nature and weather and time progression as it goes through and looks truly beautiful in so many locations. It's just really, really useful that you get to explore it in the way that you do, being able to climb obviously to the top of the Space Needle and the, even seeing just the view around you as you're running and jumping and worrying more about platforming in so many locations. It's unnecessarily beautiful the distance that you can just look out to and just see where the edges of the city and the world around it kind of connect. To, so it's kind of hard to pick out a spot while you're in the middle of the action gameplay like this because you can see so much going on and of course things like the game HUD kind of get in the way of that. But the guys from Sucker Punch are aware of how much work they put into this and made sure that there was obviously a way to turn off the HUD, be able to look at this clean in the view, and of course, be able to take photographs of it. They give you a camera function into this game that is unnecessary, but can give you some beautiful still shots, like the ones I'm showing here, where you get these wonderful like frozen frame panoramas with full lens flare involved in your shot as if you're living within it. And it's something that we've seen so much more in games like Mad Max and GTA V, now that uh, they've had the selfie cam system and they're using the first person perspective in the game. Open worlds like this become a stage, uh, something that we can perform on and actually like, use as an articulated background, something that is a, a, a living set with a whole world around it. Now, being able to control things, even like just the visual look with uh, small Instagram filters that will also have the ability to control focal depth and uh, d distance, it's... <sighs> I'm amazed by what they actually added in as an extra little tool, which gives people that just want to have a, a visual eye on the city something special to look at. 
So guys, this has been a game with a view. This is something that I want to do a little bit more of, look at like viewing systems that are built into games. So if you like this, comment underneath, remember to subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. So until the next time, bye-bye.